In this movie, we're going to have a look at the Wacom control panel and how to set it up. By the way, if you want to, you can load my preferences that I've used by going into the Wacom Tablet Utility. And I just did a search for Wacom, Wacom Tablet Utility. And if you open up that application, you can back up your files. So back up your preferences and move them to other machines. And you can restore other people's preferences. So if you want to load my preferences, you can do, and you'll have exactly the same setup I have here. Now I'm going to close that and we're going to go into the preferences and just talk about a few things that I change. So the first thing I do is select my functions and add Sketchbook Pro to the list by clicking on the plus button and choosing it from the list of open apps or from browsing it on my hard drive. And once I have Sketchbook Pro added, what I've done is just customized it a little bit. So under command, I've added new layer. Under tools, I've created a new submenu called tools. So basically at the top level, I've selected this and said create a submenu called tools. And when I select tools, I can actually add keyboard shortcuts for things like the ellipse tool or symmetry. So X symmetry, I added by going to keystroke and typing in the keyboard shortcut X for X symmetry and just giving it a label. And that means that when I go to Sketchbook Pro, I have these lovely context sensitive menus where I can get switch on symmetry, switch on the marquee tool, for example, or put Y symmetry on. So I have a four way symmetry for creating kaleidoscope type effects. So really great tools in there to allow you to set up quick functions using the radial menu. Now, another couple of things that I set up are tools for the express keys. Now, the brush size command doesn't work in Sketchbook Pro. So I've changed that. And what I've done is I've added an express key with the letter B, which is the brush size toggle. And now when I select a brush, and uh, what we're going to do is select maybe the marker. In fact, let's not. Let's select the paintbrush. When I select the B key, I can resize the brush now. OK, so that gives me a interactive resize of brush. And of course, I've got my symmetry on, so I'm creating crazy graphics there. So the other one that I've adjusted is the touch ring. Now, at the moment, I'm in the finder, so I'm getting the default touch ring controls. If I go into Sketchbook Pro, you'll see that I have a canvas rotation in there. Now, when you use the default settings on your Wacom tablet, canvas rotation will not work. So all you need to do is come into the Wacom tablet control panel and choose canvas rotation keystroke and change the default to nine and zero, which are the keyboard shortcuts for rotating the canvas in Sketchbook Pro. So now if I choose canvas rotation, you'll see it rotates correctly. So those are a few settings that you need to set up by hand in Sketchbook Pro. And it's also worth adding some tools to the radial menu as well. As I said, I've saved all that for you so you can just load them up and start working immediately.